Karis one seems like a piece of shit. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> Personally, he seems like an asshole. Uh, 13 and good, so it starts off like, um, you know, I, I walked into this place, I'm feeling the bass and having a good time. He's like, alright, sounds cool, like, typical, cool. like, he's making a party joint. She looks to be 26, and I ain't dizzy. It's time to get busy. Mm. Welcome females into my arms, overwhelmed by my Playboy charms. I, first of all, just... Karis one talking about being a fucking player is kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I ain't got to explain what we did. Uh, built to last. I simply waxed that. Oh, ask the question. No need for guessing. Hey, baby, how old are you? 21, 24, maybe 22? And she said, hee hee, I'm only 13. As the song goes on, I keep thinking like, maybe he's saying like, he found this out. Before he had sex with her and is going like, whoa, this is crazy. You know what I mean? And maybe like, oh, it's a misunderstanding. But the chorus goes on to say, uh, I need a quick escape. That's statutory rape. But she was. And, you know, like they have a little like playing sampled in yeah, the background. He's like, you should have been there. She was. Man, that jail term won't be. But she looks so. And it's like, even if I get beat down, it still was. And I'm thinking like. Okay, like, my mind keeps going, like, trying to rationalize why he's doing this. Like, because he literally just confessed in a song to having sex with a 13-year-old. And not really feeling bad about it. Yeah, exactly! The only part that's bad about it is, it's statutory rape, I might be facing jail time. There's no regret for having done it, it's just the what the consequences might be. And I just want to say, I just want to call bullshit on him going like, Oh, I assumed she was 26, and then later on I was like, wait, how old are you again? Bullshit. If you meet a girl, and, she, it, it, hey, let's say you're at a club, mm. you know what I mean? So you're assuming everyone's over the age, but if this girl is kind of young, you're still going to ask sometime in the fucking conversation. You're going to be like, all right, how old are you for real? Come on, let me know. You know, especially if she's goddamn 13. There's no way a 13-year-old looks 26. That's just not possible. And how did she get in the club? Yeah. What is she doing there in the first place? That's bullshit. So the club didn't even card. This, this, fi- this fictitious club. Let's hope that this song wasn't based on true events. Let's just hope that this is all just for the sake of the album. <laughs> I think we just need to have a series where we just like tackle the worst of like old school hip hop. Because apparently it was a fucking treasure trove. That's Dude. just been sort of swept under the fucking rug. So in the video... You got KRS one, and he walks up to the stoop, and there's two dudes that he's talking to. Yeah, <laughs> he just decides to talk to them. He yeah, he decides to tell them this exact story. <laughs> they did <it> unprovoked, <laughs> and he's bragging. <laughs> I don't need to tell you what happened. I waxed that ass, and they're like, uh huh, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't you be like, oh my god, dude, I um. I need your advice. I don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> yeah. I'm so scared. This like, is the yeah. worst night of my life. Nah, it's like, I went to the club and she was charmed by my play. Like, what? <laughs> like, Why yeah. Why are you so happy about this? Yeah, like, he, at this point, in him telling the story, he knew that the girl was fucking 13. So, yeah, yeah, like... Yeah. Why is he approaching this like, oh man, let me tell you how much of a playboy I am. I happen to get this 13-year-old, whoa. Like, he's not treating this with the gravitas that something like this would probably deserve. The chorus is all about how, oh man, it was... I hate that sample, by the way. I, it's so bad. It, this song, it, and here's, here's the weird thing. This song wants to be Love's Gonna Get You." Oh yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? With the sort of like the the, the the gospel sample in the background, yeah, the understated drums. But that song, like, and, and so like because it's similar, you're thinking, oh, there's got to be a message to this. Because remember with the other one, he talks about how you lo- you talk about you loving your car, and yeah, it's like ab- about like how like love of material possessions or whatever is gonna like be your downfall. Yeah, exactly. And how, like, sure, you're 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 hustling and you're doing all this stuff, but yeah. it can screw you over. Mm-hmm. I, it, so I'm listening to this song, thinking there's got to be a point where like the turn happens. We get a turn, okay. all right. Oh god. So so wait, I just gotta, <laughs> I just gotta talk about the way his friends respond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, but it was good, and the one guy just like leans in a little bit, and he's just like. Come on now. Like, it, like, basically wags his finger at him. That jail time won't be... 
And he's like, <laughs> but come on, man. And the way fucking KRS one breaks the fourth wall in this situation where he looks at oh the my camera God. as if the audience is gonna be on his side <laughs> about this. Like, can you believe this shit? Can you believe the the trouble that they're giving me right now? The fucking pushback I'm experiencing right now with these two dudes? If they were in my shoes, they'd totally understand the situation. They wouldn't be judging me at all. And it's like, he's telling the story at, like, this desk with a fan in front of him. He's all (laughs) smiles. Dude. The whole time. You know, now that I think about it, like... Hip-hop deserves controversy, right? Mm. But these motherfuckers who were, like, protesting back in the day, they were protesting for all the wrong fucking reasons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Like, oh, no, that rapper said gun. Uh, let's <laughs> protest him. Uh, Boogie Down Production makes a song about statutory rape. <sighs> well, you know. <laughs> like, like, Jesus Christ, were you people fucking listening? Did this album fly under the radar so bad? <laughs> Apparently. This album must have really fucking tanked hard for no one to know that because it's not like oh this is a deep album cut that everyone no they filmed a music video for this shit yeah he's got a fucking produced music video the video looks um he's talking to his friends he's saying all this shit happened and they're like man like there, there's no serious judgment none of them are like getting up and leaving <laughs> yeah there's not like dude what the fuck we've got to call the police Nah, they're just so interested to hear the rest of the story, and it gets it's, it, it gets crazier because now he's on the bed. She starts she starts crying because he's like, "Nah, I can't be I can't be with this, you know. I can't hang around." And she fucking calls her dad, and it says like, "Oh, uh, my dad's got a gun, and he's gonna be on his way." And by the time she hangs up, he's already at the door. Somehow he knows where the fucking house is, which is fucking <laughs> wild. <laughs> That, that great hip-hop storytelling. A uh, slick Rick over here. He opens the door. Dude's uh, already got his gun, like, cocked at him. He's like, oh, shit, okay. So, girl leaves, and this is when the, the dad tells him, basically, that he wants to fuck him, too. Yeah. And that, hey, <laughs> b- back at our flat, it's just me and my daughter, and I've been looking for someone like you. And this... Is when KRS One decides to punch him in the face and run. Well, see, it's not not when he thought his life was on the line. Only when he made sexual advances did he decide. Okay, well now, now I'm. This has just gone too far. <laughs> like they're, I'm gone. they're treating it. He's treating it like tales from the Dane side. You know, it's like what I rap battled against the devil. Oh, how ridiculous! This is insanity. Oh, this woman try. This guy tried to rob me, and it turned out it was a cute chick who was a fan of mine. Wow, that's ridiculous. Like what? I had sex with a 13-year-old girl, then her dad came in and tried to rape me. Whoa, how crazy am I, right? Like what? No, this. Huh? But the funny thing is, like, the switch-up happens. Like, because, you know, you're thinking it's going to be about, like, oh, maybe this song's going to be about how, like, you know, I don't know, we sexualize young girls too much. Maybe it's going to be something like that. You know, maybe. I kept holding out hope that sometime he was going to tell what the story is. But the fact that that twist happens is just kind of like, wait, this story isn't going where I thought it was. And it just ends up... Being about, like, yeah, like you said, this guy is uh, making me a proposition. And like, oh, you can have my daughter anytime you want. Just let me have sex with you, too. And, like, at this point, it's just like, where the fuck is this story going? And, but now, now, in the video, he punches him. But in the song, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't, even, I didn't even make that connection. Yeah, there's no resolution as far as the song is concerned. We have no idea what his decision was. <laughs> as far as far as we know, the moral of the story is Karis one statutory uh, had sex with a 13-year-old and got away with it. The end. Yeah, it, because the guy was a police chief. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that, that little detail. Remember at the end of Love's Gonna Get You, he kind of he kind of spells out what the story is, right? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, if you do this, you do this. So, like, I'm holding out hope till the end of the in, very end of the song. I'm thinking, like, what's he gonna say? Is he gonna be like, you know, oh man, we're living in these days where like, you know, sexuality's crazy or or something, just fucking something. He says, the moral of this story. There is no moral. You finished the story for me. When you're living your life every day in the hood, waking up in the morning should feel... That's a cop-out. Yeah, like... (laughs) Like, 
What the fuck are you talking about? What? Huh? He ended it like fucking do the right thing. He gave you the fucking <laughs> Malcolm X quote. He gave you the Martin Luther King quote. Nah, you figure it out. He gave you the rape story. He gave you the he was about to get rape story. I mean, you know, it's really sort of a circle of life thing when you really think about it. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, Karis One? But Do then... you really think there's going to be an argument between people about whether or not you having sex with a 13-year-old was okay? We can all agree that it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. We're not all as accepting as your two friends on the stoop. <laughs> Like, this sounds like it's going to be a bigger fucking deal. Like, hey, maybe it's a story about how uh, uh, um, uh, uh, cops uh, do do illegal shit and how, like, you know, there's sort of like an underbelly. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it could be a tale of in- intersectionality between sort of like the sexualization of young girls and, and corruption on the police. But he never really brings that brings it to that point, you know? Why did he have to be the star of the song. Why couldn't it have just been about somebody else going through something? Yeah, that's but a good point. But the fact that it's him makes him the hero that we're supposed to root for. And we can't. And there's more album to listen to. So we're this is the guy we're listening to now for the rest of the album. Like, what? We're supposed to root for this guy? Why? He fucking... He's telling us in hindsight about, about statutory rape... And still saying, but it was good. Yeah, that just makes it completely inexcusable. Being yeah. like, hey, but come on. Like, fucking fuck you, come on. What are you, fucking nuts? And uh, just, just one more thing about this video, going back to it. I, It's unnerving that at the end of it, it looks like he's walking towards a school. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh- Oh, God, that's horrible. He just high-fives his friends, walks away, and then for some reason, he walks towards the school and, like, fades out of the picture. (laughs) Oh, God, no! Someone stop him! 